What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is May 27th of 2019, and today we're here at the French Creek. And we did get a bit of rain last night, about rain for probably 40 some minutes. Did rain kind of hard, but it stopped really quick. And what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing some fishing with the legendary lure, the trout magnet. Right now I got a gold trout magnet tied on right here. 164 ounce dart jig head that the trout magnet comes with. And we are gonna try and catch a fish on all 20 colors of the trout magnet that I have here with me. Got gold, golden black, orange, orange and yellow, orange and red, orange and white, neon, chartreuse and black, brown, black, you get the point. I got a whole bunch of colors here. We got about three or so hours to fish. We're gonna be wading this creek right here seeing how many fish and how many species we can catch using the trout magnet so stay tuned today should be a good day of fishing guys first fish of the day just came up for us a little smallmouth bass this one's extra dark for some reason look how dark this guy is to see if i can get a hand on him look how dark that smallmouth bass is they usually don't get that dark in this creek but it's a nice dark smallmouth Beautiful fish. We're gonna take a picture, then release this guy. All right, time to release our little smallmouth bass. There he is. And off he goes, back into the water, the depths. Guys, another deep hole right here. Looks like there's some, could be some fish in here, so let's see what kind of action we can get. Oh, this fish swiping at it. Nothing massive. There's fish in here in this little hole. Let's see if there's a good one though. That's the that's a trick. Oh, got him. Let's see what we got here. Second fish of the day. A little green sunfish, I think. Yep, look at that, a little green sunfish. Nice little fish, good color on him. I'm just gonna release this guy. We don't really need a picture of him. There's our little green sunfish. Guess gonna send him back up here so he doesn't scare the other fish. Well, that's one out of this hole. All right, so that fish came on the black and gold. Now we are on to the orange trout magnet. Still using the same gold jig head. And we're just gonna find some fish now. So the last time I was here in this exact section of the creek, my buddy Noah caught a trout right here using a spinner. I'm gonna be using the trout magnet, so hopefully they can magnetize a holdover trout to our line. That would be great. If you guys saw my Instagram, I just posted a couple days ago, I was out trout fishing a different section of the French Creek, a club stock section. I had a good day, caught like five stocked rainbows in less than an hour of fishing. That was a good day of fishing. You should check out my Instagram, at the Villa Outdoors, to see that if you haven't already. But we're just gonna be fishing this section. Maybe there's a trout or a fall fish or a smallie over here in this current. Sometimes those fish like the current a little more than some other fish, so you never know. Fish on guys, fish on. Little smallmouth bass coming up. Actually, that's not that little for this creek. That's it's pretty nice for this creek. Oh boy, don't escape. There you go guys. Nice little smallmouth bass right there. Gotta take a quick picture and release this guy. Look at the belly on him, he's nice as bat. Look at that belly. It's a bat fish. Bat fish indeed. He's been eating good. All right guys, just got our smallmouth bass unhooked. 
gonna send them back into the depths of the French Creek. Right, well, since that fish came on the orange trout magnet, now we're on to the orange and chartreuse right here. Gonna be tossing this round around this here creek. Get some more fishies on my line. I'm hoping for like a at least a 20 plus day. I don't care what they are, I just want lots of them. Alright guys, well we just crossed through probably about three and a half feet of water and I don't have my waders on so right now my thighs are wet and that is uh I mean I don't mind it, it's a pretty nice day out. I mean if it was if it was the middle of winter, yeah, I'd mind it a lot. But um it's a nice day, so good day for a swim. You know, Memorial Day, everyone's swimming, right? It's a good times, good times. Now hopefully we can catch some fish to make it worth it. Cause uh yeah. Pretty deep. Woo! So what you guys missed is that I caught a little maybe five inch largemouth off camera on the orange and chartreuse trout magnet but it fell off the hook before I could turn the camera on so I'm not gonna count it even though I don't really like this color and I want to get it off my line I'm still not gonna count it so yeah still got the orange chartreuse on all right guys so I just got my line stuck and I was gonna go get it back but I know this is weird black shaped rock and it's this uh, hmm, how do I put this about a foot and a half long snapping turtle probably about a foot wide Dude, that's... and it's sitting there looking right at me so this is going to get cut and um, I'm going to walk back to the bank and tie this on because I'd rather lose a lure than lose a couple toes so yeah um, all right well, yeah, slowly back away. Which way are we going? That way? Just try to get over there. Yeah, I'm trying to get back on that bank there. Oh. This water's not real shallow, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I am deep. And the rocks aren't going to Oh, I got somewhat shallow again. But this line is getting cut. That's unfortunate that that snapping turtle is right there because I would have, I would have gotten that line back. But oh, I got the stick out. I got the stick. Yes, yes, we got it out. Oh, what a save! Yeah. Holy mackerel! All right, now we gotta try and figure out a safe place to stand. I'm trying to get back to the shallow water. All right, we can do it. Back to you guys when we're safe and sound on the bank. All right guys, we are safe and sound up on the banks of the French Creek. We are out of the deep water for the remainder of the trip until we work our way back. But just gonna be throwing a couple casts out here. Hopefully there's some smallmouth or red breast or something waiting to attack this thing and hopefully I don't get snagged because I don't want to have another encounter with a snapper. Whew. That was close. If I would have walked a step further, my foot would have been gone. Because those snappers, they're, they're no joke. They're not your little turtles you buy in the store and have them walk around your house. They're uh, they don't play no games, guys. And I just missed a smallmouth flipping out about this trout magnet. But I guess I should pay better attention instead of talking about how I almost got bit by a smallmouth. Or not a smallmouth, a snapper. I wouldn't mind if I got bit by a smallmouth. That wouldn't hurt. Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a whole bunch of bones or something just sitting in the water. 
I'm not gonna pick any one. Uh, I'm not gonna pick any up because I don't want all those germs on my hands. But something got killed. I'm guessing a dead bird or something. Bones do not look like a fish. Fallfish? Rock bass. Alright guys, just got a fish on the infamous orange and chartreuse trout magnet. Little rock bass. Hold on, stay still. I said stay still. There you go. Little rock bass gonna come over here so I can put on a different trout magnet and release this guy. I'm gonna take a quick picture. Alright guys, a little rock bass is going back home. And there he goes. Off the swim another day. Alright guys, just got the orange and white trout magnet rigged up. Hopefully this one doesn't take us as long as the orange and chartreuse one did. So, let's get to it. Hopefully we can fly through these last, what, like 15 colors? So, yeah. This little backwash area here up against these trees looks like a great spot for any predatory fish to be hiding. Hopefully I don't get caught up in here. There's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, he popped off. Let's get back in there. Because there's bound to be more than just one in there. It's gotta be. Come on. Yep, there's another one. There's another one. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, one of my favorites. Pumpkin seed sunfish. I was not expecting to catch this one today. But look at that beauty. Such a beautiful fish. Got the little red on the opercular flap. This might be a... No, this is a full-on pumpkin seed, I think. Might be hybridized with a bluegill, but I think it's a full-on pumpkin seed. Look at the vibrant colors there on the gill plate. Gotta take a picture. And release this guy. And then we gotta switch up colors on the trout magnet. Alright guys, just caught that pumpkin seed on the orange and white. Now, cast immediately after, caught a fish on the orange and pink, which means I'm done with the orange category. And that's another little rock bass. That's our fourth species of today, for today, individually. And he's sliming all over the place. Don't know if you got any slime on the camera or not, but there's a little rock bass. Looks like he's got a little scar up there on his one side. I'm gonna send him back. There he goes. Alright, next color on the list is just the plain chartreuse trout magnet, which is not one of my favorite colors, but I'm confident that I'll catch a fish in this little area because they're all piled up right here, it seems. Yep, fish on. Just like that. Let's see what we got here. Another rock bass. Like the whole rock bass heaven in there. Ah, oh, stay still. Stay still. Stop squirming. All right. There we go. Rock bass on the chartreuse trout magnet. Gonna send them back into the water and fix us up the next color, which is the black and chartreuse. There we go. Little rock bass. Back into the ocean. Hopefully we can get these last few colors fast because we only have like an hour and like 15 minutes left to fish and that includes the time it takes to get back, so. Let's call another rock bass on the black and chartreuse trout magnet. Gonna send them back. We're gonna head downstream because I don't want to pull all the last 12 or so colors out of this one hole. So I'm gonna throw this one back and move downstream some. There you go guys. Got one on the brown trout magnet. A little smallmouth bass. There we go. After a while of no fish, 
There's that beauty right there. Not a bad fish. Gonna take a picture and release this guy. Time to send our fish back. Came on the brown trout magnet. Back he goes. Guys, we're doubled up right now. Tom's got a red breast on fish, and I just got a rock bass on the black trout magnet. Now, I'm gonna release this guy. Look how fat that rock bass is. Look at the belly on that thing. Gonna release this little rock bass. Fat one. Look how chunky that guy is. He's been eating well. I'm gonna send them back into the water and change up color on the trout magnet. All right, guys, smallmouth came up on the white trout magnet. Oh boy, he's squirming. Hold him by the belly, it like paralyzes him apparently. So, so okay, well, apparently it doesn't work for this guy, but or I'm just not doing it right. But there's our little small jaw. Gonna unhook them and change up colors again. There you go. A little smallmouth bass. That was a bad release, but he's back in the water safe and sound. Alright, guys, just got the white and chartreuse out of the way with a little red breast sunfish. Surprisingly, my first red breast of the day. This one's fat too. All these fish are fat. Eating good and they're all healthy. Alright. There he goes. Bad release, but unfortunately, that is going to be it for today's video. Although we did not finish catching a fish on all the colors of the trout magnet, there will be a part two to the video later in the season probably choose a different spot or come back here and we'll leave off after the white and chartreuse one which i think would be red yeah so next time we'll start with the red and red and black and we'll catch the last few fish we need to to complete the trout magnet rainbow challenge but that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it we caught a good amount of fish not as much as i would have liked but a good amount so if you like the video be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already i hope you guys have a nice memorial day or had a nice memorial day and i'll see you guys on the next time of the bell outdoors